Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today not so at home to Wickham. Now today is by far the biggest game of the season so far. Not so fourth, Wickham are third, we are four points behind them. We are on 66 points, they are on 70. For me, if we don't win today, our automatic promotion hopes are over because after Chesterfield last week in which we played so poorly, we've got to go into this tough run of fixtures, Wickham, Accrington and Coventry and get at least five maybe to maybe five to seven points to stay in the race in the race because I think Coventry have got a game in hand and obviously Wickham are you know four points clear as I've already said so a win today is a must. Um on the on the positive side though Michael O'Connor is back today. Um he's been out injured since last April so hopefully we get to see him on the pitch. Yeah anyways come on knots come on you pies let's do this so the team news is out again and once again Nolan has refused to drop four underfoot underperforming players. Colin is still in, Duffy is still in. Um, Noble who played that quite bad last weekend against Chesterfield, he's still in. Amiabu who doesn't look interested after the time, he's still in. Fort isn't even on the bench. Oh, this could be a long day. <laughs> Chance around the OB at the back post, which he really should have scored. Oldfield has also had a shot saved after a good full ball by Alessandra. Apart from that, it's been really physical and a massive battle. So it's half time, it's not nil weapon now. It's not been a great first half, I'm honest. Like I say earlier, not had a few chances. Zami OB, um, Mr. Sitter at the back post, Alessandra, quite good ball through the whole bridge. And there was a penalty dispute, Zami OB was caught down, it looked like in the area, I'm still not sure whether it was a penalty or not. Still not sure. Yeah, it's been a very scrappy game, a lot of great something to play. As you can tell by the amount of abuse that's been thrown at the referee from the not supporters, a very, very typical League 2 game. Strange really, I was expecting more from them. Um, a team that's had the run they've had, I know they've stumbled a little bit lately, but they just really don't look much more than a functional, well-organised, workman-like team. Um, Considering the three blokes they've got up front, I can't actually recall Colin having made a save in the first half. Um, and we've certainly had the better of the chances. Um, Grant to put off the bench second half. Grant always seems to do really well as an impact player. So, you know, looking good for three points really at the moment. Dare to say it too soon. But <laughs> let's see if I'm right at full time. Yeah, so is it. Great ball. Now, it? 
Jason. So we are back from Meadow Lane, Knotts nil, Wickham nil in one of the worst games I've ever, I've ever had to endure because it was just a big scrap. It wasn't any sort of game of football in the first half. It was just an absolute scrap. And it was the two very similar teams, to be honest, Knotts and Wickham, you know, both rely on long ball. You know, I don't really know how we're both third and fourth, to be honest, but we're not that great. Both of us aren't. But yeah, um, a few points from today's game. Well, two significant points. Number one, obviously, is the referee's performance. Now, we have had uh, Ben Toner referee not games before. He ref the Luton game in the 15-16 season. And he was woeful. And he was nothing different today. He was woeful. I felt like he gave... I felt, I felt the same as some supporters. I've read a few tweets on Twitter. And I feel the same as some fans who have said, you know, the referee... And some people around us said every 50-50 went to Wickham. Um, there were constant breaks, break up in plays. You know, some for the most stupid of things. And especially Scott Brown in a Wickham goal. You know, Duffy went up for an header. You know, he doesn't really do it to him. And then, he, and then, and then that early, I think it was Joe Jacobson or something. I don't know if it was him, but he was rolling around. You know, I think Shola barely touched anything. I mean, he must have rolled about three or four times. I can't talk about, about over-exaggerating. But yeah, there was times, there was one, you find in the pitch, Shola barely touched him. No, free kick. Um, Shola got absolutely, in the first half, you know, it was a clear elbow almost into the back of his head. Shola stayed up. You know, nothing given, play on. Yeah, the referee really did not let the game flow at all. There was a lot of fouls, you know, some were very picky as well. Some were just 
some were not worth a free kick to be honest because they were small and just they were just weren't worth a free kick. Um, we had one penalty in the first half which was turned down, I believe. Some basically, I think, said it was a penalty. It looked like Amiobi was clipped or something, or when he was about to shoot, he was fouled. There was another one apparently where we should have had another penalty. I can't remember what it was. If you'd like to tell me in the comment section, please do. Yeah, so if there are penalties, I'll have a look at the highlights if they want to put the penalty um, appeals in because I'll, sometimes they don't at all. Secondly is the lack of cutting edge. The reason why not didn't win today is because we've got such a lack of cutting edge up front and this is what will come back to haunt us at the end of the season. This is why we will not go up. It's because we've got absolutely nothing in the final third. Stead and Amiobi, the two slow. There's just it's so obvious. It's so 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 slow. There's no pace in the team. When you want one of them to be in the box, they're either too slow to get in or the like other places in the pitch, like Stead's putting the cross in. You want one player in the box, and Stead's the one putting the cross in or the two further back to make a run into the box. You just if we have a pacey strike up front today, we could have gone on and won the game, but that will come that will that's the reason why we haven't won, to be honest, apart from the referee. Um and what will haunt us when we if we don't go up? The lack a lack the lack of a fast pacey forward. Someone like Mo Isa. You know, just to get in behind. You know, the, oh Jonathan Fort, where was he today? Oh he wasn't even on the he wasn't even on the bench. Please tell me what he's done to warrant that treatment. You know, Callum Saunders even. You know, even even he would have made a running behind. It will come back to... It will. It will come back to, you know... It'll be, it's annoying. It's really annoying. But we didn't do the business in the transfer window. And the lack of cutting edge today was so obvious. I mean... Halfway through the second half, I say, because we didn't really have a strike on the bench, put Alessandro up top with Amiobi, take off Stead for Liam Walker. We didn't change it. Noble had a poor game today as well. Brisley was probably man of the match. He, you know, he kept Akin Fenwell quiet um, at the opposite end, um, apart from one time where Akin Fenwell was left free at the back post, but, but thank goodness it was offside. But yeah, not a great game. A typical League 2 game. Not a great spectacle, not a good one for the neutral today. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Um, stay subscribed if you want to subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions, and as always, to loose.